is for the birds. What a bird brain. What happened to my food? I'm sorry, guess I was hungrier than I thought. Just a moment there, Spencer. Sorry, Dad. I didn't see you hiding there. Spencer, I've been thinking about something, son. Yes, sir? Writing is very nice. But the world isn't just about brains, son. It's about fraud and strength. Know what I mean, my boy? Yes, I think I know what you mean, Dad. But actually, brawn and strength mean exactly the same thing. And I wouldn't know that without brains. Yes, but without brawn, I wouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> Sometimes a little less brawn and a little more brains is a good thing. Weinberg Takahama residence. Dad, the phone hasn't even rung yet. It will. I told you it would. Must be a psychic hotline. Of course I'm not at work, boss. It's the weekend, sir, and I'm teaching my son about the finer things in life. He doesn't get much work done during the week, either. I heard that. I can't believe it. Those slave-driving in-laws of mine are making me work on the weekend. Those ungrateful old... I'd love to come to work today. Why no, Dad? There's nothing I'd rather be doing. Work hog. <laughs> well, son, I'm off to work. No rest for the weary, you know. When did we switch from the family car to jet rockets? Ciao. Oh, and when you're done writing, go out and play, unless you want to end up like your dad, who spent his whole youth writing and now has to play all the time just to catch up. Somehow I doubt if Spencer's dad spent his entire youth writing. But his point is well taken. All work and no play makes dad a dull boy. Bye. Well, I have two concerns, Sonny Pig. First and foremost, who's going to fix all these new holes in the roof? And second, I guess it'll be okay if I don't write in my diary today. I wrote in it yesterday. We deserve to relax. Mmm, Dad was right. This is very relaxing. Ha! I'm not gonna work at all today. I wonder what Angus and Eggman are up to. We should call them. If I didn't do everything around this place, nothing would ever get done. Hmm. Humming in your face contests are not my idea of fun. We'll have to continue this later. It's lunchtime. Let's eat. I've permanently set my watch for lunchtime, so it's always time to eat. Spencer? Yeah, what? If you don't think our games are interesting, why do you want to play with us? Beats writing. <laughs> <laughs> I should join in, but writing is more fun to me than dumb contests or playing monsters. I feel like an outcast. Like I'm on a class trip in the Sahara Desert, and I'm the only student without a bunny bottle full of water. Sonny <laughs> 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 Pig. 
funny, Pig. Even though you're bored with what I'm saying, you can at least pretend to be interested in my problems. I'm interested in your problems, Spencer. What do you want, Wigstaff? You wanted to have fun, didn't you? Well, I'm here to play with you. Let's start off with a little break dancing. Excuse me. Can someone please take him away? On second thought, playing monsters doesn't sound all that bad. Fine, then I'll break dance by myself. Hey, it was pretty fun playing monsters, huh? This day has been fun. It makes me a little worried. I've never gone this long without writing. What should I do, Sonny? Uh, go do some writing. Huh? Who said that? Was it you? If you didn't say it, well, then who did? I did. Uh -huh. Let's write together. <laughs> Banana. You are, aren't you? You must be the one my mom was looking for. Talking bananas are normal for our house. I must be crazy. Bananas don't talk. What do you call this, thingy? Bananas really talking. You got something against talking bananas? Yes, I do. I'm a talking banana, and I'm here to say there are talking bananas in the world today. Why does this always happen to me? That Spencer has not seen the last of my breakdancing prowess. <laughs> General rule, none of your five basic food groups can talk. You're telling me. Bananas can't go around talking. It's unnatural. If they did, then it would be okay for telephone poles to talk and clocks and erasers. They would all be yada 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 to each other all the time. Imagine the chaos. Let's say my bike needs a street sign. Nice weather today, isn't it? Yes, I'm off to go cycling now. Well, see you later. It would be so noisy we couldn't hear each other think. How fascinating. A talking banana. Did you mention earlier that you like to write? Yeah, that's right, man. I love to write, too. Where'd you learn? Actually, I study writing with melons and pineapples and orange and apples. I never knew fruit valued education so much. We don't. Then why were all of you studying? So we wouldn't be embarrassed anymore. What could fruit be embarrassed about? Huh? Well, you see bananas, melons, pineapples, oranges. We're really all very shy fruit. Huh? In what way? You ever gotten peeled? It's embarrassing, Mom. I'm naked. <laughs> Can I get some privacy? No, oh, don't look. I'm bald. The shy fruits were upset, so we got together with our friend Strawberry and asked what we should do about our little problem. This is going to be a long story, so in the interest of cutting down on time, I think I'll take over from here. Long ago, on a farm far away, a bunch of bananas, melons, pineapples, oranges, and apples all got together. They waited for the farmer to go into the barn to shovel up some fresh, moist compost, and then they snuck into the patch to ask their friend the strawberry a question. The top banana asked, Strawberry, why don't people peel you when they eat you? And the strawberry replied, Well, it's because I did a lot of writing when I was younger, and it made my peel delicious. Studying can make your peel taste better? Asked Banana. Yes, and if all of you studied and did some writing, then you could make your peel delicious too. And so all the fruit rejoiced and started writing as much as they could from that moment on. After that, the fruit never had to get peeled in public again, except, of course, for that divine locale fruit salad I had at lunch the other day. It was simply delicious. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be making a long story shorter. <laughs> So what you think? How about doing some writing with us and making yourself delicious too? Huh? Thanks, but I don't think I really need to be delicious. How about you? <laughs> Thanks again, but we'll be fine. All right, suit yourself. But at least come with me and see our classroom. What do you have? Mashed bananas for brains? That's not a classroom, it's a refrigerator. That's what you think. Open it and behold the secret world of fruit. There's always time for milk. Mm. Banana, are you trying to pull a fast one on us? Our refrigerator is the same as always. Oh, sorry about that, man. I forgot a secret word. Abracafu salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, come check it out for yourself. Look at that refrigerator. I know the little light always comes on when you open the door, but this is ridiculous.
fresh box of baking soda should take care of this. The light does go out when you close the door. Fruit class up here. Vegetables in a crisper. Someone needs to defrost the freezer. Straight ahead, man. Into the light. I wonder if this is where the Grapes of Wrath was written. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm really in the mood. where I can write all I want without anyone telling me to stop. I have found heaven! Don't overreact. We're talking about fruit here, not Rhodes Scholars. Who cares? I'm gonna do some writing. What is it, Sonny? Don't tell me. You forgot to go to the bathroom before we stepped into the fridge. Now I have to ask for a hall pass. Uh, Mr. Banana, I hate to interrupt, but where's the little pig's room? <laughs> kind of an emergency. Ah, in the fruit world, we don't go to the bathroom, but we knew that someday our spiders would visit our writing class, so we built a bathroom down there. Great, we'll skip to the loo. What did I tell you about overreacting? Ah, that's much better. Now we can get back to writing. Those stupid fruits have fallen right into my trap. I'll keep them writing until they become super intelligent. Yes, indeed. And Humans will never eat fruit again! Ha, ha, ha. I can't eat a melon who did my taxes! If I eat the orange, who's gonna write bedtime stories for my children? The pineapple taught me how to balance a checkbook! And the pie of the strawberry will become ruler of the entire world! Ha, 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 ha. How long have you two been listening? Oh, I'd say uh, about the whole time. So then, you must have heard all about my plan, didn't you? Oh, no, we didn't hear part of your evil plan to make shy fruits into great writers, making them intelligent, and how the humans couldn't eat them anymore, and how you, the strawberry, would become the absolute ruler of the entire world. No, we didn't hear or see or say a thing. Then how did you know about my evil plan? <laughs> Just a good guess. We've got to be going now. See ya. Just keep walking, Sunny Pig. I think she believes us. Where do you think you're going? Where do we think we're going? Oh, now I remember. We were heading up the street and about to... Of you to laugh while we scream in fear. I'm sorry. My, how time flies when you bite into everybody else's business but your own. Well, we managed to get away. But what do we do about the strawberries' evil plan? Why don't you ask the audience? Does anybody out there have any ideas? Hello, you're on the air with Spencer. Hi, first time caller, long time listener. Why don't you let the other fruits know they're being hmm. used by the strawberry? Great idea. We have the smartest audience on television. <laughs> Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's some kid with lumberjack tendencies. Oh, great. Look at the bill for the broken wall. Who's going to pay for this? You? Now, listen. All of you have been tricked. <laughs> It's all a scheme. The strawberry planned the whole thing so that you would become writers and get smart so humans wouldn't want to eat you. No How much you want to eat us? It doesn't sound like a bad idea if you're a fruit. Great! Great. No, no more are you saving us? us? Great! Let's eat the boy! Yeah! Ah, 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 you fool! I knew you would try to interfere, so I came up with a plan of my own. My henchmen pretended to be those stupid fruits. Now you shall pay for your misery. I'm surrounded by strawberries. I'm in a jam. Here is your punishment for interfering. I'm going to make you know what it's like to feel the embarrassment of being an uneducated fruit. My brain already feels like it's turned to blueberry jelly. You ain't saying nothing yet. 
First, we'll plant your body in the ground. Then you'll bake in the hot sun and cold rain. Soon you'll start to grow and your head will sprout. By harvest time, you'll be a full tree and blow. <laughs> so far, it doesn't sound too painful. Wait till the crows move in and use your head for a nest. No, not that. Please, let me go. Take him away. decided to turn into a juicer, and he planned to liquidate those strawberries once and for all. But since he couldn't suck out his own thoughts, his plan stayed in his head. Sonny thinks he can use the mirror to put his plan into action, but he doesn't have a whole lot of experience with mirrors. Well, there's seven years of bad luck. Ha! I found the pig! We found the pig! We found the pig! We found the pig! We found the pig! at home know me. I don't like to get involved in the story, but it just occurred to me that if anything really awful ever happened to Spencer and Sunny Pig and they were no longer available to be on the show, then I'd be out of a cushy job. And guess what, viewers? That won't do. Weather lady to the rescue! Quick, Sunny Pig, put that snout of yours on my noggin so you can suck out my thoughts and we'll save the day. Sunny is my friend, shows me what I'm thinking with her nose that's big and red. Sunny, Sunny is the dude, every time I get in trouble, he knows just what to do. Hey, he's the biggest, he's the biggest, Tommy's big. He likes to sing and dance and oink, one, two, three. Hey, this pig is really cool, his brain is his main tool, he has a way of making my day. Sunny is my friend, he shows me what I'm thinking with a nose that's big and red. Sunny, every time I get in trouble, he knows just what he has to do. Oh, it makes my scalp tingle like dander shampoo. strawberries that want to rule the world into a smoothie blend the evil strawberries with milk oh don't forget to take the stems off first some blenders get clogged up easily don't they dog but fruity brute now look what i've done i knew i shouldn't have gotten involved in this story it's like i'm some sort of puppet master if you feel shy when you get killed act like a pig and run out of squeal Brute is delicious and we love it so no need to study get rub and roll with each new runner you're smart or dumb what color books you keep making fun this isn't a puppet show who's running the show anyway 
mind your own business. Whoever said that humans should eat five servings of fruit a day is going to hear from my lawyers. I'm home, honey. Hi, dear. Dinner's a little burnt. So am I. Where's Spencer? I think he's up in his room writing, Daddy. You know, I've spent all day wondering what to do. Should I do some writing? Or should I try relaxing for once? Want a smoothie? Oh, yeah. You see? The perfect strawberry smoothie recipe. Of course, evil strawberries usually taste sour.